Ladies and gentlemen, it is another day in the world of gaming news, and we have some good news today, and we have some bad news today. Now, depending on which side of the coin you're on, one might be good, one might be bad, or one might be bad and one might be good. Does this make any sense? Probably not, so let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Today we have some news to do with the Switch 2 and the PS5 Pro. One might be delayed a little bit longer and one might be coming sooner than we thought. No matter how much bad news comes for the Switch 2, I'm still holding out hope that it's coming this year. Anyway, before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Nintendo to launch Switch console successor in March 2025? At earliest. Oh no. Japanese gaming titan Nintendo will launch a successor of its mega-hit Switch consoles early as March 2025, later than widely expected. The new console will likely have a feature to be used as a handheld similar to the Switch and utilize a bigger display panel. Bigger is better. Market watchers have largely expected the new gaming console to be out within this year, but the Japanese company has prioritized streamlining the initial sales of the new machine and giving more time to game developers to create popular titles. So it seems to me like... The main issue that's holding back the Switch 2, well, I guess two main issues. One, they really do want to hit that best selling console of all time, like they want that badge. And I'm not saying they have to do it this year, but I feel like they just want to go ahead and get that out of the way so they can dedicate all capabilities to this next console. And two, the games. They don't want to have a lackluster launch. Whoa, lackluster launch? New tongue twister unlocked? Let's go. Um. Like when the Switch launched, there was only like two or three games that Nintendo actually developed themselves, and then they only had like what seven or maybe ten launch games total. Nintendo will try to expand sales of the Switch successor by, among other means, combining marketing with their popular IPs such as the game characters and movies. When Nintendo launched the Switch in March 2017, the initial shipment was insufficient to meet consumers' high demands. Wow, I did not know that. I didn't get a Switch till 2018, resulting in a shortage and rampant reselling. I, that, that's truly crazy. I didn't know that. The Japanese company also faced a lack of software for the new console with only three Nintendo developed titles. This is a big issue I think they don't want to have again. As the company hopes to avoid such a situation this time, the launch of the Switch's successor could be further pushed back depending on the progress of establishing production capability and developing key titles that affect initial sales. So it seems like Nintendo is trying to polish every corner possible and really get this next Nintendo console to have the perfect launch. They're trying to I guess just approach it from every angle. They want to have uh, the manufacturing down, they want to have enough consoles, they want to have enough games, they want to have maybe new IPs, I'm not really sure, but March 2025, as much as I want the Switch to come this year, or the Switch 2 or whatever, March 2025 would be kind of cool because that's when the Switch launched, so hopefully they'll at least reveal it soon, but it is what it is. But we have some good news today, well at least if you're a PlayStation fan we may be getting the PS5 Pro sooner than expected. Basically, they're saying right here that at halfway through every Sony console life, they release a more powerful one. Colin Morty, owner of Last Stand Media and co-host of It's Sacred Symbols PlayStation podcast, cite sources who say Sony is targeting a late 2024 release for the PS5 Pro. According to anonymous individuals at third-party publishing houses, Sony has already provided them with a preliminary presentation on what to expect from the PS5 Pro. First and second party publishers may already have access to the PS5 Pro specs, if not the actual dev kits. Uh, so it looks like Sony is gearing up for development to begin on PS5 Pro games. This must mean the system itself is not too far off. What the hell just happened? This must mean the system itself is not too far off. This is pretty cool. Uh, a couple things to touch on here. One, the whole reason I think it made sense for the Switch 2 to launch this year is because nothing else was coming out, right? If they launch it next year and there's a PS5 Pro coming out next year, I know there are two different consoles, two different games, whatever, but it will have other people having to choose, like, do I get a Switch 2 or do I get a, a PS5 Pro? Like, what do I do? If the Switch 2 launched this year, then it's open real estate. It's the only console you could buy that was new this year. And number two, what do we actually want in a PS5 Pro? I have a PS5. I'm super late to the party. I got mine for Christmas. I'm very thankful for it. Since then, I've played Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Modern Warfare 3, which I just sold, and the game was pretty horrible, but it's a very impressive console. So what more could they do for it? This may be an unpopular opinion, maybe not, I don't know. The number one thing I truly don't like about my PS5, and it kind of surprised me that it, I guess, wasn't a bigger issue. Maybe it was when it launched, but when you start your PS5 or you're installing a disc, 
and it's late at night and everybody's sleeping and it's kind of quiet in the house, it sounds like somebody's launching like a space shuttle from your bedroom. One night I was installing like Ghost of Tsushima or something and I was just sitting down chilling and I just heard a huge rumble and I was like, what the hell is that? I live in an apartment, so maybe it's people upstairs, maybe it's a car outside. And I was trying to find the source and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And then it was my PS5 and I could not believe how loud it was. So then I had to go on Reddit and all these other places and be like, is my PS5 going to explode? Is this normal? And it turns out it is. For comparison, and I know it's not as powerful as a console, but I have never once heard my Xbox Series S even make a noise. And that's even playing like big stuff. It, I, it just doesn't make noises, or at least I haven't heard it. I just don't understand why the PS5 is so freaking loud. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about all this? I'd seriously love to hear from you guys. I'm not sure if I'll have a video tomorrow because tomorrow is my birthday. And when this video is out or coming out, I'll be on an airplane flying to New York. Uh, I'll be in New York City for a week and I have some really cool plans to make some videos out there. Um, I will be making videos from like my hotel room, but on my actual birthday, I'm not sure if I'll have a video come out, so we'll see. But yeah, guys, thank you for everything. This birthday is going to be very special to me because I have something to look back on. This YouTube channel is not big yet, but I think we're on our way there. And I'm just very thankful, so follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you could. I'd really appreciate a follow. And uh, you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.